something good to happen after all these goddamn years. Anyway, well, I don't give a shit about the sponsors. To the garage, we can finally upgrade the truck at long last. After all these years, we're upgrading the truck. And it's going to be a suspension upgrade. Actually, let me check this first. I could get that. No, I wanted this. Yeah, that's a better part. The suspension is a much more steep thing here. It's got it's got even less durability. That's good. That's good. That makes me feel better about myself. Oh wait, that, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, my. This, is, this is the one that we're doing. This is more durable. It's more durable. Good. Good goddamn it. Good. Thank you. Please. Yes, I will take this upgrade. Alright, we got $187 left. Very nice. Hopefully we don't fuck up in the next race and end up with debt. Because that would be terrible. I wonder if it's game over when you have your debt. Mm, yeah. I don't know. It better not be. I've worked way too damn hard in this series to lose it as a result of that. Alright, it's a wheel and race. Let's see where it is. Welsh Valley. Good. We're going to somewhere good. Yes. Yes, I can win here. Except last time the leader fucking drove away with it like a douchebag. But hey. I just want to, you know what, I don't even want to finish first. I just want to get the lead lap bonus. So I can get that sponsorship money. Everything will be wonderful. I don't even have to do good in the championship in this. All I have to do is finish in 10 top 10s. I'm now realizing this championship's worthless. I should have just went with the truck series race they had before. I probably still could have won the championship here. Though then again, that was back when I was really concerned about the performance of this vehicle. Now it's not so much more so just getting used to this freaking weird ass track again. Which I'm obviously not doing a good job of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could be better, honestly. Could have taken that corner just a slight bit now. Uh, yeah. I feel like you coast through these corners here. Nope, I'm. Nom, 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 nom. Well, I got through it. I don't know how good, but I got through it. This track's fun. I kinda, I, I kinda wish that this track was real. I kinda wish that I had a fucking modified that I could race. But I don't. I was looking on racing junk and they're like $18,000 for a full, full-fledged performance modify. Like, there's some bodies. There was a really nice body that was only like five grand and I don't know if that's good or not. That's a good price or not, but... Gotta win the goddamn lottery before I'm gonna take on Racing. Racing is such a fucking expensive sport, man. And it's only getting worse, thank you, Brian France. Like they need to do something. Like the cars that they like the cars that they got now, the 2016 season has been great so far. I mean, we haven't gone to Talladega yet, that's on Sunday. I will report to you if the if this season is shit as a result of this of a shit show at Talladega. You know what? I brought my guitar back here. Oh, yep, we're fucked. We are fucked. Yay, we're fucked. I brought my guitar back here. Because, well, this is the, when I go back to school on Monday, it'll be far, the final week before finals. So I need to start moving shit back anyway. But I brought my guitar back. I could play for you the shit show song. It's basically Big Show's theme music with just replaced lyrics for uh, Raising a Talladega. And it goes like, Well, it's a shit show. Mm, 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 mm. It's a big shit show now. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's a shit show. Now we have the 
actual lyrics. <laughs> well, every time we come to a play track, you see, the race will always turn out to be just a shit show. <laughs> It's a shit show! And yeah, just repeat ad ad nauseum. Just repeat ad nauseum. Oh, yes! Took that corner perfectly. Except I think he's catching up to me, so maybe it wasn't as perfect as I thought it was. No, it's perfect. I'm perfect. Adam Petty's perfect. Adam Petty can do no wrong. But man. I guess that is the opposite of the way that you take that corner, because I was like half a second more ahead of him there, and then he caught up. Or maybe they're just really slow in the corners, and I just, and I just dive in like a fucking maniac. No wonder why nicknames Kamikaze, I yeah, just dive right in, with not a care in the world. So, we got, uh, two to go. And, uh, yeah. Two to go. Two to go. How the hell did I get a 117 lap? Jesus. That was a scorcher. Must have been casualty free. Not fucking hidden into some dumbass. Every time we come to a play track, you see. I'm still trying to think of those lyrics that I did for the crawling in my skin, gnawing at my soul. Burning in my veins, I think maybe was one of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure burning in my veins or something to that essence. Rolling in my skin. Gnawing at my heart. Burning in my veins. It's just tearing me apart. I wish that I could die. 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 Yeah, it was something like that. Last lap. I'm hitting everything. I'm going all over the goddamn place. I'm like a fucking maniac. That was going to be the signature song for my death metal band. It was Maniac, and it was just going to be fucking nuts. It was going to be like 240 beats per minute, and there was going to be like a, a drum machine, and the bass would just be going like, it would be like a machine gun just going. And every note of the guitar was just going to be a trello. It was going to be like 16th notes and that shit. And the guitar solo was gonna be wicked because, of course, it was. Because it's fucking death metal. What do you expect? There was another song that I actually had a conversation with with, with guys before on this. We were gonna start a death metal band, and one of our songs was gonna start off like, like, poppy. It was gonna be like a really nice guitar and then a really poppy vocal section, and the song was gonna be called "Wait for It." For many reasons. Like, the, the story of the song was gonna be just, like, just wait. Great job. And then, like, about a minute through, it would be like, it would kick into the death metal vocals and it would just go crazy. Kind of like a maniac. It would just be going like... <laughs> Except it was gonna be really loud, there was gonna be like three vocalists doing that at the same time. It was going to be crazy. So I won this race. That's good. And it looks like we are just about out of time here. So I'm going to figure out what the fuck is wrong with this computer's fucking internet connection. What its fucking deal is. We're going to figure that shit out. I got $24,000. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I can easily waste that when I need to freaking destroy another car here. So. Oh, that's okay. We got 1,500 points. And yeah. Sir, we are going to 
We're going to check out the schedule. We see how many races are left. So that's the final race at Baxter. If I really give a shit next time, we can do that. We got two truck races and a wheel in, two truck races and a wheel in, two truck races, and then this over. So we got six truck races and two wheel in races. And there are no more conflicts, so I can run every one of them if I want to. And yeah, so we are about done here. So this was a session that had some highs and it had some lows. Went through some shit, we accomplished some shit, but in any case, this has been another exciting instance of NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. I hope you enjoyed. We will see you in the next one. Hopefully with a championship in the Wheel and Modified series and maybe some potential for the future when it comes to the freaking trucks. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Good fucking bye, my friends.